Tiger Lily Squad, what's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? Was popping, was popping, was hey, was popping, was popping, was hey, hey, was popping, was popping, was popping, was popping. That remix just be sliding in. I don't know when I want to sing it, but she be coming out when she want. So, do y'all like the remix or you want the original? Leave it in the comment box below. Anyways, Tiger Lady Squad, gang, gang, how you living, how you breathing, how you feeling? It's your girl. <laughs> Essence of Shay in the building, y'all. What's up? Before I get anything started, I would just like to put out a disclaimer. It seems like I have to put this in more videos, um, as I've been only I've been on set uh, YouTube for like somebody wanted to point out the other day. I've only been on YouTube for seven years, and I only have 14k. So obviously, nobody takes what I say seriously, and um, I'm a joke. So, with that being said, I just want to say that this channel is my opinion. I feel like everybody's channel is their opinion. What works for me might not work for others, and it might do great for people. Um, and I learn things from other people's channels as well that I've learned and blah, blah, blah. I will never go under somebody's channel and make them feel bad about their opinion about how they feel. Like, that's stupid. But I just want to point out that this is just my opinion. You don't have to listen to it. And what I'm saying is not the end all be all and it is not Bible. It doesn't even matter if a person is a certified loctician. The things that they're saying might still not work for you. So everybody's journey is different and I just wanted to throw that out there. But since we got that out of the way today, because I have notes, y'all know I like to talk. I have the six, come on dryer. I have the six things that you need for a, for your starter locks. The only reason why I even know this is because your girl restarted her set. This is my second set for those who don't know. I'll put up some pictures here of showcasing my last set, the quarrels, the, the you know, the drama of it. You know, Trish, she been growing and she been doing her thing, but now this is Trish point two so we're seeing how she's doing but number one you need a clarifying and a moisturizing shampoo so you guys know i live by dr bronner's peppermint shampoo the only issue with that is it is really clarifying like sis pulls out all the oils all the everything not just the debris and the dirt and all this stuff she pulled out all the healthy stuff too so with that you want to follow that up with something moisturizing because a lot of people and this is ghetto don't 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 but a lot of people talk about using uh conditioners in their locks and kudos to them i um have not tried that yet only because I know um, with locks, it's, it easily traps in whatever you put on the root. Um, and uh, remember my first set when I did that little cut, I cut my locks, it showed some of the stuff. And that was just one. So um, I feel as though that can cause like buildup and stuff. I could be wrong. Like I said, I have never used it, so I don't know. But instead of getting a conditioner, I would suggest getting like a moisturizing shampoo to help bring the moisture back into your hair. And then you follow it up with like some oils to seal it in, right? Speaking of oils, there are a few oils out there that are beneficial for everyone across the globe. Um, and I won't get into that necessarily unless y'all want a video, but I think I did a video a long time ago. Um, but I'll re do another one if y'all want me to. But there are three oils. I feel like there you should have two or three oils in your possession that you use uh, constantly, right? So the first one I would say is vitamin E. And then right here I'll put what every the the things are for. 
what the benefits are i would also say castor oil black castor oil you guys know that helps thicken it helps with your edges um all that stuff and the last one i would say is grape seed oil so grape seed oil i also use in my covet oil um and Gracie oil is just a good carrier oil. It's used not just, not just for cooking and frying some things and frying some things, but it helps with moisturizing your hair as well, while sealing in the moisture and not leaving your scalp dry and itchy and all that stuff. So those are the three oils that I would suggest that you like keep into your repertoire, but also do some research because what oils that you may need will help with your will be more beneficial to you i'm stuttering will be more beneficial to you i would say just stick to two to three don't don't go to just don't do too much don't do too much okay so number three is you need a spray bottle hold on okay so you need a spray bottle preferably one that sprays out so this is my personal one there's no label on this but see how it's can you see that I don't know if y'all can see that but like it sprays out continuous continuous water so the fact that you don't have to use so much it just sprays like a big right so you do need a spray bottle to help you with moisturizing your hair and in that spray bottle if you do not want to purchase my lavender hair mist or my chamomile ginger hair mist um you can just simply go and get like some water some rose water um put some vitamin e in the bottle and that'd be a thing and just spray your hair and keep it moving number four speaking of water is the type of water that you use so you do need water to moisturize your hair and yes uh water is like a double entendre come on double entendre who am i Yes. but um it does moisturize your hair but it can dry out your hair so when you spray your hair you want to follow it up with a sealant but you also have to use the right water in your hair so filtered water distilled water rose water um, aloe vera juice are all things that I personally would suggest because spring water and even purified water, I feel like still has the minerals in there, which, you know, mineral in hair, it could mineral buildup and da da da. We don't want that. So I would suggest that, right? Number five would be to use a satin scarf satin i'm looking for my satin scarf satin bonnet i think that's it or satin pillowcases um i still would like you can sleep on satin pillowcases without wrapping your hair but i just feel like why not just wrap it just wrap it and get it over with right just 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 wrap your sis and don't i feel like don't ever go to bed without your hair wrapped if you're just walking around your house ain't doing nothing just leave the wrap on your head i feel like during the winter time is when we get the most buildup. i mean or the most debris and stuff in our hair because we have to wear like the thick materials and the scars and stuff and um with that you can't really prevent you can't prevent uh debris and stuff a hundred percent of the time but if you can just wrap it up just wrap it up <sighs> i killed myself last but not least i would say that you need for your starter locks you if you plan on doing it yourself um you do need clips and you need a comb in the beginning your hair is still forming and still doing what it needs to do especially at this stage you guys know normally when i retwist my hair i do like the rubber band method where like I retwist, put it in a rubber band, I keep adding on, but these are shorter. So I would need clips to just help secure down the roots because I can't, not yet anyways, um, wrap it down and all that great stuff. Uh, this is all I have for you. Those are the seven things you need 
that I feel you need for a successful journey in your starter locks. This is a starter lock kit, honey. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will talk to you guys in the next video. See you later, Tiger Lilies. Uh, crash course. Let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the Porsche? Goofy with